Hey, welcome back. We're in Luke chapter 5 now, verses 4 to 8, straight to it. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell on down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Okay, so here's a miracle. We just talked about Jesus' teaching yesterday morning, but now that Jesus, they did this favor to bring Jesus out in the boat so he could teach to the people lining the shore, Jesus does a miracle for them. He says, go ahead and go out and, and uh, let's try, you know, put out your nets. And they say, but we've just been doing it and we haven't had any real success. But guess what? Something in the demeanor of Jesus led them to say, yeah, let's do that. And so they did it and they get such, such a haul of fish that the boats begin to sink. In other words, the boats are filled, just literally filled with fish. They are amazed. And then comes this confession of Peter, verse 8. When Simon Peter saw it, when he began to understand what's good, this is a divine miracle. It's happening to me in my boat. And he said, Jesus, he said, depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. So Jesus is still in the boat and the, the fish are just filling up. Uh, there's fish all around Jesus' feet. But anyway, look at Peter. Depart from me, I'm a sinful man, O Lord. This is the way we feel when we come close into, into the presence of somebody who's in Jesus, the, whole, the holy Jesus, actual Jesus. He's just like us. He's got our humanity, but he's also God, and he's pure. He's never sinned. You and I, we've sinned all over the place. Guess what? The feeling of, please depart from me, I'm a wicked person. Yes, we should feel a sense of our, our hateful wickedness, but Jesus came to save sinners. And so, oh, if we could just bow down at Jesus' knees like Peter did and just confess our sins. He's going to remember us. He's going to remember us. He's going to receive us. He's going to forgive us, and he's going to transform us. The privilege of being a Christian, even though we've messed everything up in our lives royally, but Jesus wants to heal us, and he wants to do these mighty acts for you. Oh, friend, let's give thanks. Father in heaven, Thank you that you would do miracles and that you've come across from, from your throne to us to help us and heal us. How you have such an interest in us is amazing to us. But, but Lord, yes, we are wicked. Yes, we are sinful. But Lord, forgive us our sins, transform us, and give us of your grace and your mercy. Oh, Lord, may we rise up and do your will. And we'll look forward to seeing what we else we learn tomorrow. Bless, we pray now, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so friends, uh, Jesus is on my side and Jesus is on your side. There's no better way to start your day. God bless you today.